I really think uh, that that was the mission then, to make a two hour and 20 minute action adventure war film. And the mission today was to make anything I want. So it really isn't so much, I don't think, although I'm sure I have changed, uh, but I think it was a different mission. We approached re-editing it because we knew we had more material and we thought that because now there was the DVD which possibly could uh, you know, be used to show a longer version, we just thought uh, now that we had no time restriction, we could look at that material and see uh, which, which we would put back. And uh, it was done in a, in a very um, informal way, really. When you do new work and, and you are able to spend more time with the characters, obviously you can include more uh, touching information that would give them more dimension. It's, it's really a function of time. The first movie was two hours and 20 minutes and had to go through many, many, many episodes. So the, the additional time we had we could use for character development and to include uh, other aspects of the characters. I mean, I think in the new version you see uh, Martin Sheen smile and laugh, which you never did before. You would hope that there could be more movies made that are just personal. Uh, like my son's film, TQ, is, uh, you know, that's a personal film. It's all based on memories of things he heard about when he was uh, a boy about the people like myself, you know. So uh, the genre of film is what kind of forces it into a mold and it has to be a certain thing, you know, it has to be a horror film, it has to scare you or it has to be a sex comedy, it has to be funny and sexy, but you know, really uh, it's wonderful when you can just see a movie that is, uh, defies the genre and it's just an expression of a, of a person, of an artist and what they feel uh, that they would like to share. I'm older and I am much less, uh, I'm more independent I am much less concerned about whether people sort of approve of me or not. So it's likely that I might show more of what I really feel or even uh, know myself what I really feel. You're always a mystery to yourself and uh, when you're younger you're so motivated to accomplish this or accomplish that or achieve this that you don't really look at yourself very much and uh, even if that looking is that you don't see anything.